here again. I managed to get the uh, refrigeration controller out of the uh, refrigerator container unit. I managed to get it running and it actually was pretty easy to get running. Um, I don't know where I've put it now. And there it is. But uh, I needed 12 volts AC or 24 volts AC to run it. So what I did was, was I got a uh, one of your regular wall warts, 12 volt DC, and I pulled that out of it and wired the output straight to the transformer. So it's basically giving me 12 volt AC straight off the transformer itself, which actually is pretty accurate. I've got uh, UPS running the power here, so it's a dual online conversion, so I get very accurate voltage, so there's no fluctuations. Anyway, back to the original thing here. Um, it's a Carell. IR33 DIN mount, a uh, very neat little unit. I believe this thing could actually run even a really, really large cool room or anything because you can run a couple of compressors from it, you can run a fan, uh, it's got all sorts of inputs and outputs for opening the door or closing the door and lights and whatnot. Um, and I managed to reprogram it so I can demo it here for you. Uh, right now I've only got the fan light on because um, it's too too cold still. It's yeah, it's set for 24 degrees, so the compressor cuts in not too long after that set point. Now, this here, yeah, yes, a sleeping dog. Um, this here is a little temperature probe, um, and this probe, um, obviously, if I heat it with my body heat, and it's a bit slow to respond. I guess that's a design feature, not a fault. As soon as the temperature goes up, there we hit our set point, and the compressor firing or the compressor active light comes on now. I'll just drop that probe so it cools down again. It's very slow to respond, it's still changing even after I've dropped it on the ground. Really should have added a big thing of ice water to drop it into, but that doesn't matter. while it's cooling down. Little control panel here. Um, programming set. The set is for set point programming obviously for actually programming the control points. Um, you got all sorts of inputs and outputs along the bottom there. You see the power comes in on the left there. Probes come in on the right. It's just room for two, two temp probes. Um, digital inputs up there. And then up the top here you have the compressor defrost coil and two auxiliaries uh, one of the auxiliaries they actually have just disabled by desoldering it from the board because you can actually get a model with two auxiliary outs um, so that means this one's only got one auxiliary out that temperature's coming back down when we get below our set point that uh, compressor will kick out again you'll see the red light in the top corner go out leaving only the fan running very very clever little piece of equipment for the fact that uh, you don't need any mechanical temperature sensing it's, it's it can all be done electrical and uh, you can also do a lot of compressor compressor protection so say if a probe fails um, it'll actually run the compressor only for a certain amount of time before it gives it a break to cool down which I think is very important especially if a probe does fail and it thinks it's uh, zero degrees and you know it's actually uh, minus 40 and the compressor's still going. Oh, it could, could freeze something, destroy something maybe. Oh. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, any second that compressor should uh, out. Because we're down to our set point again. You watch it, will make a bastard out of me and it won't happen because I've changed the temperature. Oh, there we go. Thanks for watching.